followed the creation of the Air Force. The research and development projects initiated during and immediately after the war began to bear fruit. General Frank Everest recalls. Uh, many, many scientists and engineers said we will never go through the sound barrier. Now, obviously, that was immediately crushed by uh, Jaeger, the first guy to fly it through the speed of sound. Jaeger, of course, checked me out in the X-1, and he had finished uh, taking it up through Mach 1, and I was going to go foul it to I rode in the cockpit of the B-29 because the B-29 climbed at 180 miles an hour, and the stalling speed of the X-1 was 240 indicated. So I waited until I got above 12,000 feet before I came down a ladder and got into the cockpit of the X-1. And on that particular flight, after dropping at 25,000 feet and in a slight climb with four rocket chambers on, I was sitting there looking at about 9596 Mach number indicated when the Mach meter began to fluctuate and went off the scale. And when it went off the scale, all the buffeting stopped on the airplane. It started flying real smooth, and I got back some elevator effectiveness. The most important thing that came out of the whole X-1 program, we found out that we needed a flying tail on the airplane if we were going to operate in the region of the speed of sound.